Day 174, Psalms 90-93 Pray due to the Lord for His love and faithfulness. 90. The eternity of God and man's frailty. 91. Safety of abiding in the presence of God. 92. Pray due to the Lord for His love and faithfulness. 93. The eternal reign of the Lord. Though the authors of most of the Psalms you read today are unknown, the object of their worship is well known. The God of eternity, the God of protection, the God of greatness, the God of majesty, the God of vengeance, the God of salvation, the God of glory, and the God of holiness. Psalm 90 A Prayer by Moses, the Man of God Lord, you have been our dwelling place for all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn man to destruction, saying, Return, you children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday when it is past, as a watch in the night. You sweep them away as they sleep, in the morning they sprout like new grass. In the morning it sprouts and springs up. By evening it is withered and dry. For we are consumed in your anger. We are troubled in your wrath. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your presence. For all our days have passed away in your wrath. We bring our years to an end as a sigh. The days of our years are seventy, or even by reason of strength eighty years. Yet their pride is but labor and sorrow, for it passes quickly and we fly away. Who knows the power of your anger, your wrath according to the fear that is due you? So teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Relent, Yahweh, how long? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your loving kindness, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us, for as many years as we have seen evil. Let your work appear to your servants, your glory to their children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be on us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Psalm 91 he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Yahweh, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His pinions, under His wings you will take refuge. His faithfulness is your shield and rampart. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the reward of the wicked. For you, Yahweh, are my refuge. You have made the Most High your habitation. No evil shall happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he will give his angels charge over you, to guard you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands, so that you won't dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the young lion and the serpent underfoot. Because he has set his love on me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. I will satisfy him with long life and show him my salvation. Psalm 92 A Psalm, a Song for the Sabbath Day It is a good thing to give thanks to Yahweh, to sing praises to your name, Most High, to proclaim your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night with the ten-stringed lute, with the harp, and with the melody of the lyre. For you, Yahweh, have made me glad through your work. I will triumph in the works of your hands. How great are your works, Yahweh! Your thoughts are very deep. 
A senseless man doesn't know, neither does a fool understand this. Though the wicked spring up as the grass, and all the evildoers flourish, they will be destroyed forever. But you, Yahweh, are on high forevermore. For behold, your enemies, Yahweh, for behold, your enemies shall perish. All the evildoers will be scattered. But you have exalted my horn like that of the wild ox. I am anointed with fresh oil. My eye has also seen my enemies. My ears have heard of the wicked enemies who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He will grow like a cedar in Lebanon. They are planted in Yahweh's house. They will flourish in our God's courts. They will still bring forth fruit in old age. They will be full of sap and green to show that Yahweh is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. Psalm 93 Yahweh reigns. He is clothed with majesty. Yahweh is armed with strength. The world also is established. It can't be moved. Your throne is established from long ago. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, Yahweh. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. Above the voices of many waters, the mighty breakers of the sea, Yahweh on high is mighty. Your statutes stand firm. Holiness adorns your house, Yahweh, forevermore.